So my name is Leslie Shepherd. I am a nurse consultant here at Health Protection Scotland, but I'm the chair of the Scottish UTI network. And I coordinate a lot of work uh, across Scotland. We've got health and social care partners to coordinate UTI work across Scotland to try and get a cohesive approach to, to re UTI reduction. The reason uh, the hydration stuff is really important is um, it, what it came up to, it was our sitting board that actually kind of talked about it initially. We also had a request from a board, an NHS board, to do some work around hydration, the Scottish Government as well. It's really important because um, in terms of urinary tract infection, if you drink more, there's evidence that you're less likely to have urinary tract infection. There's various at-risk groups, people who are more at risk of urinary tract infections, so um, young women who are, are at risk of having recurrent urinary tract infection. Um, there's complicated urinary tract infections, so that's mainly men and older people are more at risk of having it, just really because of the fact that quite often they'll have bacteria in their urine, etc. And not drinking is a, a real um, big risk factor for, for urinary tract infection. So it was really important that we did some work about that to try and get highlight the benefits of drinking more in terms of if you don't have a urinary tract infection, you're unlikely to need antibiotics. If you don't have antibiotics, we don't have the problems with antibiotic resistance, which is what we're seeing. And the other thing about urinary tract infections is the the extreme infections can be bloodstream and life-threatening. So if you don't have urinary infections, you've got less chance of having these extreme blood um, infections. We have set up a short life working group. And within that, we have partners from across health and social care. So we've got the care inspector, we've got Scottish care, we've got dietitians and, and, and people who are in catering. We've got acute hospitals. We've got all sorts of community nurses, etc., on the group. And what we've done is developed a suite of resources which will support people at the front line make better choices for the people that they care for. So for instance, some of the stuff that we've produced are, we have an infographic here. So this is an adult one and what it's showing is uh, the effects of dehydration. So what we're trying to do, we've heard lots of stories about um, particularly elderly people coming into hospital or, or coming in with a, or going to their GP with, who are just maybe a bit more confused than they normally are. And automatically people will think they've got a urinary tract infection, so they'll prescribe antibiotics, when actually it might be that they just haven't drank enough. Because we know that one of the symptoms of dehydration is, is increased confusion or delirium. So it's really, really important that people drink uh, plenty. And we want to stop people from automatically going for antibiotics and think of simple things. But there's some real benefits of, hyd of hydration, which we, we've outlined in the, 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 the posters about reducing the risk of falls reducing the risk of pressure ulcers because their skin's better, uh, reducing the risk of acute kidney injury. So there's lots of benefits and we've put some signs and symptoms along the bottom. And we've tested all these resources really widely with stakeholders from, again, across health and social care and the Short Life Working Group have been really innovative in what we've done. We've also provided some really good leaflets. So this is a national leaflet that will be part of a community pharmacy um, campaign, which will happen in April. Um, and these will be available within community pharmacies in Scotland. And we've also got a really nice leaflet that are, is useful for care homes or carers, which will tell them how to re reduce or, or, or prevent people getting uh, urinary tract infections. Okay, so people can access them um, by either, the, they're going to be on our website, so they'll be on the Scottish UTI website, which you'll be able to see at the end of the film, but they'll also be available via the Care Inspectorate's websites as PDFs. But also we're going to be sending these out in batches to care homes across Scotland, to care at home, to acute hospitals and hopefully to some local councils as well so people across Scotland can see the benefits of hydration. And as I said, we've got this community pharmacy campaign which is going to happen in Scotland at the beginning of April. There's about 1,100 community pharmacies in Scotland and the footfall for there is about 13, um, so 1.3 million. So people will be able to see these in their pharmacy windows and also be able to get a hold of the leaflets as well. I think the key point for me really is about the, the drinking's not just about taking a glass of water or taking a cup of tea. It's about the huge benefits that it has for people, particularly elderly people. And it's important that as carers and as nursing staff and people looking after people who are, who are elderly particularly, that they're aware that it's really important that they drink. And if they can't drink, that we assist them with drinking, whether it's... Um, um, you know, assisted cups or what have you, or using straws, etc., or different ways that we can, or innovative ways we can make sure people get a uh, fluid into them. And it's important to spread the word, actually, if we're as carers and, and as, as nurses, that we spread that word across Scotland.